Welcome back, everybody, to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host, T. How are y'all doing today? And in this video, I'm going to be talking about King Harris getting somebody pregnant, Mooney Long's new album, Revenge, and her divorce. I'm also going to be covering Mariah's mom and sister dying and Lil Baby's recent arrest. Before I hop in, please like, share, and subscribe. Let's talk in the comments, and please turn on your notifications. Y'all, let's start off talking about King Harris. You guys... I am just as shocked and surprised and in awe as the rest of y'all. I'm thinking the same thing everybody else is thinking. Who's the mom? You know, like who who did this? Who's responsible for this besides him? Now, I do believe that in Atlanta, King is getting girls off of the strength of his father's reputation and name um but king is like kind of corny so do i think girls are really laying up with him for him no i hate to say that but i'm also not here to lie and sugarcoat things for y'all um it's not even i'm not even gonna get on like his aesthetic i'm just gonna say again his behavior is really not all of that like king always in some mess he fighting waffle house workers getting into it with them you know just back to back to back king just been in some drama and then now he's talking about being somebody father like what the hell but you know i'm gonna go into the deeper meaning of this so from my understanding i think king probably wants to be in the industry you know he probably wants to be in front of the camera he probably wants to do music in some form or another um and so he's probably doing this because you know how the music industry works like they want something so it kind of reminds me of like jules um Solange son you know he supposedly had like a mystery baby you know we never got confirmation on that we don't know if that really happened or not we just know one minute we heard and you may not have even heard because the story was like in and out real quick but like one minute i'm hearing oh some girl was pregnant by him we never saw the girl never learned her name if you did hear anything it was never confirmed and then next thing you know we don't hear about it no more we don't see him with a baby nothing and now he's modeling for gq and walking runways like I don't know, you guys. I already told you how I felt about that. Um, you know, you already know what time it is with the industry. A lot of people blow up after having a kid, okay? If you can connect the dots on that. A lot of people, you know, next thing you know, they have a baby and now they just have all of this press. Victoria Monet is testimony to this. Victoria Monet went years without, you know getting the press and the recognition recognition that she wanted she went a while in the background playing it low-key playing it safe and then she finds this random ass man peep how that story went down she flies this random dude out for um for her video and screws him and not even now she's pregnant and she don't care about them really being together none of that she just needed a baby because that's the industry so with king i think he wants to get in the industry he wants to you know be down with the get down and they're like okay you already know what time it is you know you got to bring us something and so here we go i will not be surprised if in a few months he's got a debut mixtape or a debut album or he's got a single dropping or some form of like music or just something that will catapult him to a new level okay i definitely think this is an offering for um initiation and to go up a new level peep how his hair has been blonde for a minute now if you think that that's by accident use a fool like come on now like i've been doing this too long i already know what time it is like constant scandals why do you think he'd be recording himself everywhere he go especially when he be you know crashing out why are you recording yourself getting into it with people at, at the waffle house you know what I mean? How many times has this dude crashed out on Instagram Live and like always getting into something when there's cameras rolling? Because he's trying to get initiated. He's trying to get into the industry. He's trying to get clout, get press, get people talking about him. So between the blonde hair, the constant crash outs on camera, and then now a kid, it's only a matter of time. King, congratulations. I hope it works out for you the way you want it to. But one thing I have to agree with what Nicki Minaj said is, look, talent 
does not get passed down through genes and talent. You cannot catch it like a cold. You either have it or you don't. King, I'm wishing you the best. Now, let's move on to Mooney Long or Money Long. Another person was in the industry for a long, 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 long time. It wasn't until she changed her name, changed her face. Now she didn't have this kid and now all of a sudden, oh, her and her husband breaking up. I already told y'all how that works. You know, I think I mentioned there's an episode of Making a Band where Diddy is telling one of the girls she got like a husband back home or she got like a man or something. And like Diddy was telling her, yeah, you're going to have to like break up with him. or It's really not going to work. Like he really can't you know, come along with you. Like, Diddy was really trying to just get her to break up with this dude and, like, leave him behind because that's the industry. If you come with anybody by your side, the industry going to do their best to separate y'all, whether it's parents, family of any kind, you know, your spouse, anybody that's really, like, down for you, really love you, really trying to be authentic with you, the industry is going to separate y'all because the industry is going to give you people who are going to protect you. They're going to give you handlers. So they can't have people from the outside who are not initiated a part of what they got going on. They cannot have outsiders at some of these parties, at some of these events. You know, we know these parties, they really, they partying, but they're not really partying. You know, it's a lot of ritual stuff going on. So they can't have people who are not a part of it, who haven't taken the oath. They can't have them in the mix no 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 like this is an exclusive club and you either get initiated or you don't so with money long or money long i don't really know how to pronounce her name i don't really know i don't listen to her like that but with her and her husband now on the outs i already know what time it is she and like now her album all of a sudden is getting all this critical acclaim and i know she had um the hours song that like went went like really viral and um i heard she had a song called like made for me or whatever like that was doing really good but now she's getting like all this critical acclaim for this revenge album and i just find that to be very interesting like the moment you drop an album now you and your husband breaking up and now your album doing well and you just had a kid you see what i'm saying another one who just had a kid so you telling me you got a new baby and all you want to do is leave your man and be a single mom by choice and y'all been together for nine years and now your album getting all this critical acclaim and let's talk about it now her album um now she got glorilla on her album glorilla's been initiated do you see what i'm saying like i'm gonna i'm not trying to reach her i'm just saying like peep how things are working Glorilla just got initiated by Megan Thee Stallion, okay? And now she's on this album with an R&B singer. And now the R&B singer, again, is getting all of this press. Glorilla just got in the game. Moni Long been in the game way longer than Glorilla. But Glorilla, you know, she got her own backstory, okay? I think she was born into it. So now she's helping to, you know, lift Moni Long up. I'm just saying, you guys, just understand how this works. And hasn't Glorilla been in a blonde wig a lot lately? Because she's been initiated. She has passed some rituals. She has gone up another level. And, um, you know, now she could try to help bring up Mooney Long. So I'm just noticing that. Have y'all listened to her new album? I, again, I heard it was a really great body of work. To be honest with you, I really don't have any interest but maybe y'all can tell me it was good in the comments and worth my time i don't know i'm like everybody else right now um you know i heard that 70 percent of the streams are for older music and i 100 percent believe that i listen to old drake um old kanye i mean again kanye he has like one new good song the back to me song but I listen to a lot of older stuff. I listen to new and old Nicki. I like old Beyonce. Destiny's Child still hits. Aaliyah, you know, untitled um, or her self-titled album still hits. Like, I listen to a lot of older release stuff because the new stuff is just not good. It's not good. Like, 
that's a whole nother conversation. You know, there's a lot going on in the music industry right now. Rock Nation definitely going through. Let me, I'm definitely going to get on Rock Nation. Um, because I cannot do this video without touching on them and Beyonce and VMAs. But Rock Nation and Atlantic are doing a lot of restructuring right now. You know, a lot of people are getting fired or moving into new roles. Like, the economy is bad. People are only buying what they want to buy and what they can buy. Let's really talk about that. You know, if they, I wouldn't want to say what they want to buy. I mean, people going to always buy what they want. They're going to always spend money on what they want. But they have less um, disposable income and the music ain't hitting no way. And again, yes, when you're releasing songs like Brokey, Lotto, is that you? It's just really not connecting with the audience. Ain't nobody who new right now really moving units if you set, if you making rap. You know, if you rapping, you're not really moving units. Like, it's very few people. Kendrick, Drake, and Nicki. You have to have, like, some skin in the game. If you a new rapper, you're not moving no music. Especially if you a new female rapper. You're not moving no music. Lil Baby not moving no music. Let's move on to him. Mooney Long, I'm wishing you the best. Let's move on to um, Lil Baby. Lil Baby, you're not moving no units. Your music is very, um, you know... What's one of them popcorn brands that, you know, what? I don't even know. I only do, the one I know is, um, what, Riddenbacher? But shit, his music ain't even that good. I'm thinking of one of the real cheap ones. I, I gotta Google. But you know what I mean. His music is real. It's like the popcorn that you get on Halloween. Like, the real cheap shit that you gotta put in the microwave for like a minute 30 seconds max because that shit is like quick to burn his music is very microwavable very laced chip very processed food very processed food it gives it gives you know tv dinner shit i don't even want to call it mcdonald's like i mean we taco bell like it's just really really disposable shit arby's like his music he got a hit or two of his best music is with either drake or gunna and little baby has like he's got a decent you know solo song here or there but his music is not longevity it has no longevity in it you he's a mumble rapper mumble rap is in and out very few people are still um making it off mumble rap you know if any shit playboy cardi and playboy cardi and um lil uzi they're like alternative gunna is melodic young thug is in jail or is he i heard he getting programmed but you you know didn't hear that from me though but i'm just saying like it's not a lot of people who who are like still here so again not like us was not mumble rap that's like a hit song like that again future don't really do mumble rap like he's got like his trap sound he's got his own sound he's an established artist like drake very established so when it comes to people like um little baby and stuff it's like look you gotta lay up with mike rubin and do arrest rituals and yo you had a glocky on you like you you gotta do stunts and antics and tricks you know, you do because you don't really have talent your damn self. Let's talk about that. Like, I, I'm a stand on that. Lil Baby is not talented. And if you think that he is, that says a lot about you. Lil Baby is not talented. You know, rappers like him, they had to do what they had to do to get out of the streets. You know, just like with Meek Mill. Like, you could always tell with somebody desperate. They had to... Take whatever deal the industry could give them. Okay, lay it with this dude. Lay it with that dude. You know, go to this party. Go to that party and do this. Sing this. Rap this. Collaborate with this. Like, they're, they're the biggest puppets. Street people with a, with a record who can't get a job nowhere and not in the industry because they had to be in the industry. Like I keep telling you, a lot of people are in the industry because they can't work nowhere else. They have no education they can't really read or speak English. Cardi B, is that you? And they have a record. So who gonna hire them? Like, this is like their only opportunity to make any kind of money. And again, music don't even make no money. So what do they spend their time doing? Being traffickers. And being sex workers. Selling their ass and moving snow to Ohio. 
and helping young people get from state to state and place to place. Like, I really hate to even say all of that, but I'm just saying, like, again, I'm here to speak the truth. Lil Baby don't have no talent, and he's not moving no units, and he's really washed and really on his way out. And he needed Central C for that band for band, which is, again, washing and dwindling away. And he got to do all of the stunts and the antics and the tricks and the giggles that he can to try to stay afloat so he's another one i'm wishing him the best him and his bm uh you know jada they will do anything they are very desperate people they will do anything to um have some clout they kind of remind me of cardi being offset you know any kind of scandal they'll do any kind of bad press they'll do and again what do they do they spend their time fool out line with them fashion people well fashion is not music and when you, if you once you get over there with them fashion people, you they puppet. They gonna put you in what they want to put you in. They are gonna dress you how they want to dress you, so they can um, market their brand. And now you work for them. So again, you still not really in it for the music. Like you just a, you just a damn, you know, a model and an escort. It's a damn shame. Now I'm gonna move into let's talk about um, Rock Nation real quick. I know they weren't on my docket originally, but I'm gonna get on them now. Before I get into Mariah, Rock Nation, they're doing whatever they can to try to sabotage Nicki Minaj. I, I know a lot of y'all don't really like Nicki. I'm a Nicki fan. But Rock Nation is very desperate. If you cannot see this whole mess with Rock Nation and Megan Thee Stallion and the VMAs and Beyonce being used as a puppet, I just don't know what else to tell you. Like, they're making it very obvious. Now... I believe that Megan got a problem with, uh, no, Beyonce has a problem with Megan. It's kind of obvious. You know, people have said that, again, Megan is messing with Jay-Z on the side. Mm, I'm kind of starting to believe it. And then with that Jolene mess and Megan thought she was going to be on the album, but she wasn't on the album, the Calvin Carter album. And then um, Megan... Megan was supposed to be releasing like an alcohol line and then Beyonce released one first. Megan hasn't mentioned anything else about her alcohol line. Her like tequila brand hasn't mentioned anything else about it. And then there was one other thing that I was like, yeah, I don't think she liked Megan. Oh, yeah. I keep telling you all like they didn't really earn that Grammy for Savage because they got a Grammy for like best performance or whatever. They never performed that song when they won that Grammy. Remember, Beyonce sat in the crowd while Megan performed by herself. And Beyonce sat there with a mask on post-COVID and then only came on stage to collect her Grammy and then she went home. Because that was the whole point. Like, that was the whole point of the song. Beyonce never gave a fuck about Savage. Like, she brought Megan out to hype up the crowd in Houston and that was the end of that. But Beyonce has done some things enough things that make me believe yeah i don't think she really like her like that and so when i see this fake ass picture of beyonce with megan and um hanging out with really with the, here's what's also funny what's funny is that picture was taken at the all white party the michael rubin all white party beyonce don't really like to have pictures of her there because she don't want to be associated with it, but she be there doing everything that everybody else be doing. Jay-Z was there too, okay? Everybody be there. It's, you know, you know what that party is about, okay? Like, and everybody know what it's about because when Aiden Ross, the, the streamer, when he tried to invite people as his plus one, he, everybody declined. They got, they got it on video of like people being like, nah, nah, I got something going on. No, I just can't go. No, just any reason, you know. Oh, I know I got to pet my camel at 5 o'clock. I can't go. Like just any reason not to be there. So it's definitely around the industry and around Hollywood what that party is about. And again, if you have any kind of discernment, you know that party ain't kosher. So Beyonce don't really like to be associated with it because she trying to definitely keep her name clean. But... Come to find out, she gonna post pictures weeks later of her being there alongside 
Gorilla and Megan. Now, in the photos, you can see Beyonce really don't want to be there and with them because she not touching them, not hugging on them, nothing. She kind of just like caressing herself. And you could tell that Jay-Z probably took the pics or had somebody take the pics. And again, I have been noticing like Jay-Z definitely be using Beyonce as leverage. And I keep trying to tell y'all, she told us that in the song Upgrade You. When she said, you take me just to compliment the deal. Like, that is literally in the song Upgrade You. So, which came out in like 06. So, Jay-Z been using Beyonce. Oh, my wife Beyonce, you know, you should sign with Rock Nation. You could get a Beyonce collab. Or you can meet Beyonce. And, oh yeah, that was the other thing. The horse. Because I might have said, Jay-Z uses Beyonce like a horse. You know, th- this is like his show horse. Well, Megan, again, all of a sudden... When have we seen her use the horses or anything like Western recently? We haven't. Post Tory and them reprogramming her ass, it's just been snakes everywhere. And now Beyonce doing the horse thing. And it's just like, hmm? Beyonce the stallion? Very interesting. Because people have said, and I believe it, Beyonce really don't fuck with her like that. So Beyonce was like, I'll take your horses and then you're going to be what you are, a snake. I'm just noticing that. Like, every time you turn around, Beyonce with some horses and Megan not with him anymore. I just think that that's just like some petty industry shit. But I definitely have noticed that. And I know y'all have too because everybody's like, okay, your name is the Stallion, which is a horse. But all you're doing now is snake, 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 snake. Hiss, boa, you know, all this other shit. You know, just real, real interesting. So... With Beyonce posted up with Glorilla and Megan, it's clear that they're trying to use Beyonce for VMA views because they know a lot of people, especially the Barb's, are not going to watch. A lot of people don't like Megan and don't trust Megan. And so they're not going to watch the VMAs. And they want people to believe, well, Beyonce going to be there, so you should tune in. You know, because Beyonce likes her, so you should watch because Beyonce might be there. Beyonce not going to perform. Even if she show up, what, what is that going to do? Even if she show up, she, she's not going to be there all night. They're going to have to constantly... Let me tell you how they're going to do this. If Beyonce do show up, she, you, you, you'll be lucky if she's there for an hour. She'll show up, give you an hour's worth of uh, footage of y'all constantly putting the camera back and forth to her. And then she's going to leave. And then what they're going to do is because the VMAs is several hours, they're going to, like, again, use that footage of them. You know how they do at the VMA. They constantly pan the camera back to the audience and the celebrities to see their reactions to things. They're going to, like, use, you know, whatever footage they have, just and loop that shit for the whole show. They're going to keep looping it to try to make it seem like, oh, yeah, she was really there the whole time. May I say is if she if she show up, she's you lucky if you get an hour out of her. Hour and a half if she happened to run into somebody that she really wanted to talk to. But other than that, like Beyonce not gonna even she's not gonna be there for even two hours. She's not. You again, hour and a half if you lucky. If she run into against somebody who she like, oh hey, it's been a minute, or she got to talk to some production people in the back, or you know, some business people. But Beyonce not gonna be in that crowd for over no damn hour and a half. Like she's just not. And again, I'm really don't believe she's gonna be there, period, because what's the point? If she show up, it's just going to be for viewership for Rock Nation. I really don't see the value of her showing up because, again, she's not performing and not winning anything. And Beyonce hasn't been to the VMAs in, like, what, seven, eight years. Because y'all already know if she's not winning anything, she's not going. If she's not nominated, she's not going. If she's not performing, she's not going. She only goes to the Grammys, and she really don't even want to go there. So Jay Z, he's making, he's really showing his hand. He's making it obvious that he used Beyonce again like a damn carrot stick. Like, oh yeah, you know, well Beyonce gonna come with me. That's how he got Megan to sign. Like when he went and met with Megan, he brought Beyonce because he knew that it was Beyonce comes, she gonna sign. Like he know what to do. And then on signing day, he handed Megan a bag of hot Cheetos, and she signed. Like, come on, like, Jay-Z's smart. I know y'all don't like the nigga, but he's smart. Like, he know everybody like Beyonce, and he would not still be relevant if it wasn't for her. People like her. So all he got to do is bring Beyonce with him. That's why, he, plus, he's her handler. But they go everywhere together. Because if he bring her, 
they the deal is done like off off rip just because she show up it don't matter what's in the contract it don't matter what he's talking about it all he got to do is bring his show horse and he good so y'all already know what that's about and again glorilla being next to her is for promo and press too again glorilla has been initiated by meg glorilla is signed to yogati yogati is signed to jay-z so come on she in there like glorilla is she kind of like ice spice chosen peep game on that let's move on to mariah carey and i'm gonna end with her mariah you know again your mama your sister on the same day very suspect i definitely think you had to pay a membership fee to the to them people okay it's been a minute you've gone a while without nobody around you dying and you know every single christmas you know you playing all over the place and you know we hear your we hear your music all over the place you know that shit is not free nothing in this world is free and damn sure not in the industry you want to continue to be the queen of christmas you want to continue to get them royalty checks you want to continue to not have to tour all the time and not have to you know do the most like the other artists well into your what 40s 50s i don't know how old mariah is but i know she's probably 40s or older like you already know what time it is again mom and sister on the same day obvious then kind of find out the damn sister did speak up about satanic ritual abuse which I'm not surprised. Like, again, none of it surprises me. Now, I knew Mariah's mom was a, um, an opera singer. But, again, I didn't know she was involved with all of that. You know, I didn't I didn't know that. But, you know, again, her mom was in the game and brought her children into it and sacrificed one of her kids for the other one. And it's really sad the way that has gone down, but it's just the reality. So the one that wanted to speak up, you know, Allison, you know, of course, she was the outcast. She was the black sheep because she was, again, the sacrifice. And I don't know if she could sing or not, but she it don't matter now. But they didn't sacrifice her for Mariah's success and kind of find out, again, Mariah was born into this shit. You know, born into the industry, been involved with this stuff, kind of was, again, always chosen. And I just hope that this stuff really does show you guys, like, on a bigger on a bigger scale, again, these people be chosen. You know, if you are listening to me right now and you want to be in the industry and you think talent alone and good looks alone and intelligence, business acumen alone is going to get you far, it's just not. Like, th- this is an industry based on bloodline and initiation, You know, nobody had nobody gets to just get past that. If you're not willing to give up certain people and yourself, you're not going to go far. You're not going to go anywhere because there are levels and doors. You start off on the ground level again, giving up. Everybody got to go to parties and give up themselves. Everybody got to, you know, go to initiation meetings and give up somebody that they know, somebody that they love everybody got to that's the name of the game and people really think that you can like pick either or no you it's it's a whole thing it's it's all of it when you start to pay attention it's not like oh i don't want to give up my booty hole so i'm gonna just give up my parents no you're gonna be giving up your booty hole your mouth your parents your back your neck your knees you're gonna be giving up everything your kids you that that, this your soul this is everything you will give up everything if you want everything you're gonna give up everything And the gag is, fair exchange ain't no robbery. And the Bible already told you, giving up your soul for the world is, again, not a good deal. So you got to decide what things mean for you. And I'm going to just leave that there. With Mariah, again, I'm, I'm... I'm just like, hmm, I'm going to see what happens around Christmas time. I'm sure you will continue to be played everywhere. I don't know if she has any music coming. I really don't care. And I would hope that she could just retire in peace and, like, raise her kids. But... Again, I don't think this is for new music. I think that this is for, again, payment for, you know, old success. So let's talk in the comments what y'all think. I'm going to end this there and I'm going to talk to y'all in the next one. Bye.